Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by, and of course, you got here just in time. It's Friday, and it's time for another edition of Friday's Finds I'm down at the land for this part of it. Not sure exactly where I'm going to be going with this video, but we're going to start it right here at Tranquility Base. A lot, I know a lot of y'all are looking for an update. Haven't had a whole lot going on down here. There's still no structure up. There's still a big pile of brush. I still have a green box. I'm actually on my way to... This is my, my waypoint stop when I'm headed down to Houston to pick up the RV. But I had some products show up and I thought this would be a great place to show you those products. But we're gonna kick it off. Are you familiar with the name Bushnell? Bushnell, you know, the binocular company. They reached out to me, asked me if I'd be interested in working with some of their products. I said, oh yes, you know that I would. And so they have sent us, check it out. Gotta, gotta, gotta get the, the shot for, for uh, Amazon, the thumbnail. This is the Bushnell hat light. It's 300 lumens. Let's see what it takes, what it looks like. Now you see why I thought this would be a great place? Because it gets dark down here. Oh, looky there. So it comes with a rechargeable battery, but you've got three AAA batteries as a backup also. That means we don't have to wait for things to charge. Let's see if there's any juice in this battery. Oh, that's cool. I'll have to charge it. But they they anticipated that. That's why they sent me three batteries. Oh man, that's bright. It's interesting. So there's two two LED chips in here. Let me read the instructions. I'll be back. Figured it out. Press and hold. And the, the red light function comes on. Fits right on my hat. It's actually not too not too heavy. I like it. We'll have to check it out after dark. I noticed we had the frame rate issue so that it looked like it was flickering, but it wasn't. Moving right along. Bushnell has sent us. Well, if you don't wear a ball cap, what do you do? Well, you pull out the 500 lumen headlamp. <laughs> Let's take a look at that. Oh, I really like this packaging. I, I think that that's, that's awesome that they're including the AAA batteries in, the, in these. You're gonna see my hat hair. It adjusts up and down. So how do we get in? Oh, it's pretty simple. So we have a, a rechargeable battery that I'll have to recharge. So for the time being, we'll work with their triple A's. High, medium, and low. There 
there we go so we have the same thing you, you press and hold the, for the red light and if you don't want red light you just that's your low beam and then you have your high beam so after dark we'll come out here oh i gotta try it on so you can see it you won't be able to see it when it's dark so there it is I like, I like the band is, is really comfortable. It's nice and wide. So the, the band is nice and wide so it's not cutting into the back of the head. This is pretty neat. I like it, I like it, I like it a lot. We got one more from Bushnell. I really like that they come with the the charge cords and, that, and the two different battery options. Fantastic. And that would explain why Bushnell sent me this. And when I saw the box, I'm like, well, What's that all about? Well, now I understand. I have a charger and a spare battery. But we don't have actually a charge cradle. <laughs> how, how, how are we supposed to charge it without a cradle? If you have a headlamp that takes three AAA batteries, Bushnell has Bushnell has you covered. All right, so let's wait till after dark and we'll play with these lights. Meanwhile, and I'm gonna be needing this tomorrow because when I get Trudy Thunder up here, and you'll see in a moment, I'm not gonna be able to park on my RV pad. I'm not happy about that. But. Lee Chung reached out and said, hey, would you feature our RV extension cord on Friday's finds? I said, of course. Let's take a look. I like the packaging. Of course, it's, it's just an extension cord, but it does include a hanger being a 30 amp so you've got your 30 amp prongs this is a 100 foot cord let's take this over to the power pole this rv extension cord is made from 10 gauge wire you want 10 gauge if you're running your air conditioner you need lots of wire because of resistance you ever notice the plugs that are discolored because they got real hot that's because you got a lot of energy flowing through them so in this in this particular case i have a 12 gauge extension cord and i use that to when i'm here to light up my building the 10 gauge will allow you to run your 30 amp rv service I would caution you that's a long way with a lot of load for an air conditioner and a microwave so if you're if you're running your rv on a long cord minimize what you're running what your what what your load is so we're going to stretch this out to give you perspective it's 50 feet which is pretty long for an rv cord and since i don't have a 30 amp plug i have two 50s and i don't have a 50 amp to 30 dog bone because i don't have a 30 amp rv anymore i did happen to find camco has a 50 to 30 or 15 to 30 adapter now i have a 20 amp i have 20 amp going to this so we'll plug it in there so I'm excited to have that cord because until I get my, as you can see, my RV pad is not nearly as solid as we thought it was going to be. Last several times out here it was damp and I have, Trudy's heavy, she sank. So I'm going to have to park out here and Trudy has 25 feet of cord. So 50 feet will give us plenty of cord to get connected. I've got the two, the 10 and the 12 side by side so you can see the difference in the size. 10 is substantially larger. <clears throat> so 
Well, there you have it. We have a nice long cord for the ex can't complain. I mean, it's a you should always have an extension cord for your RV. 50 amps are hard, but you know, if you have a 50 amp RV and you put soft start on your air conditioning units, you can run one air conditioner on a 30 amp. That's that's enough cord to power your air conditioner and you can get 30 amp adapters. But they sell 50 amp cord, or they, they do sell 50 amp cords as well. They get a little bit bigger, uh, which adds to the price. 100% this is copper. This is not an aluminum, not a copper clad aluminum. This is a copper conductor. So it is going to be more efficient and it's not going to get nearly as hot. We are testing the headlamp. quite bright. There's my fire. There's our red light. So I'm about 40 foot from that tree. There's the back of my truck. Not too bad. Not too shabby. I like it. We need the cap lamp now. Oh, I like that better. It's just a broader. It actually seems to be brighter. This is the one that just clips on the brim of your, your hat, your cap. Where's our red light? I like them. I like them a lot. She's back! We're talking about the 30 amp RV cord. So when we're working on that, I'll still be able to plug Trudy in and run at least one air conditioner. I have soft start on both units, but that's a lot of a lot of amperage going through that. I like that cord. It's really well made. So I don't think I have to worry about it coming apart like that. <laughs> Is this bonded on there? Yeah, that's cool stuff. All right, I gotta pack up and get on the road. <laughs> We are so excited. Had a box show up. Seems that one of our uh, patrons felt that, and thank you, Rabbi Jesus, felt that Yappy deserved her own e bike. Uh, and he, he sent her a, a cool Christmas present. So it showed up, and already, I've, I've already done the unboxing. I'm gonna show the item to you first. Of course, you probably already figured this out. It is the beautiful blue electric XP light. You have no idea how excited Yappy is about this. This is a cool little bike. It's not real elaborate. This is about as, as basic and i don't mean that in a bad way this is about as as easy as it gets with an e-bike it does fold so your tiller folds i guess you call this a handlebar on the bicycle the the stem folds and you have a fold point here and the battery is located inside there uh it has a class it's a class 2 e-bike 300 watt motor top speed is 20 miles an hour it is so you have to have the pedal assist engaged there's only three buttons and a throttle so you turn it on and off with one button 
you pedal assist and the, the motor the throttle does not work unless you have the pedal assist in operation now if it's starting to get dark and, and you need some light you press and hold the up button and the lights come on you want it to go off you press and hold it goes off two inch tires they come preloaded with slime so don't have to worry about slime the pedals fold there's no gear there's no rail there's no gears to change so you got a 300 watt hub motor and the drivetrain according to the specs in pedal assist mode number one you have a battery range of like 50 miles if you are full out throttle or pedal assist number five your range is about 15 miles 15 miles is a long way for to go on a bicycle she is so excited about that i am too because this this takes up a little takes up quite a bit less room it's much lighter this thing weighs in at 40 pounds so it's easy to pick up it literally it is half the weight of the valkyrie half the weight of the valkyrie but there again you have half the range half the speed it'll top speed is 20 miles an hour versus 29 for the valkyrie but it will fit comfortably in the back of her car in the back seat of the truck it'll fit into the rv better all around this is a very handy piece of transportation and of course electric is a very respected brand in the e-bike community and i was surprised to find they actually sell these on amazon so there will be a on friday's finds there will be a link in that friday you go to the friday's finds playlist you'll find it in there the only thing i'm not happy about is the key is down here on the bottom it's kind of awkward we have some additional accessories coming that'll that'll be that'll installing those will follow this piece this initial review this is a cool little piece of equipment the seat is i'm a tall guy I, i've got long legs 36 inch inseam i can raise that seat high enough that i get plenty of leg extension and also raise the handlebar up quite a bit i'm a little over the distance but still you get you get quite a bit of up on the handlebars and you can also roll the handlebars so that they're a little bit closer there's no suspension so what we have coming is a seat post uh, extension or not extension suspension get a little little softness on the butt great little piece of that's a cool package man i know colors are just awesome all right We have the electric XP light, and that came with this seat. Now, if you're if you're a twenty-something, that seat's probably all right. But if if you're not a twenty-something, you're gonna want the comfort package. It comes in this this right here, this this box, and it fits right into. Where the seat post goes this is a a shock seat post and a springy seat that's a little it's a lot it's substantially wider we'll say a little wider but you look at it you realize 
it's a huge difference and well if you've got an old butt you're gonna want this this post is adjustable you stick a a funny looking wrench in there big allen wrench i guess and you can adjust the the springiness and it makes a huge difference fits right in there just like that and then you have a little cushion for your tushin the electric comfort package that would actually work on just about any bike just saying the fenders <laughs> that, that was a challenge no instructions with the the fender kit or the saddle bags it was about two hours I'm trying to figure out exactly how that's supposed to go on the the only instruction so that's your only instructions it would have been nice to just have a, a real picture the saddle bags are really cool though look how big these things are that's a lot of room she's very happy with this whole setup I, I can't get her to break herself away from work to give me some footage with the new setup it'll happen I'll produce another video at least one more video about the the electric xp light when uh she's available to work with me on some video stuff we're extremely happy with this little e-bike especially now that we got a comfort seat she's got a place to transport some stuff and that power cord that's a great extension cord bushnell thank you for the opportunity to work with y'all i really like those lights rabbi jesus thanks again for making yappy so happy we're done all of these items are available on amazon i'll provide you with a link in the card and in the description that link will take you to the friday's finds shopping list on the dude rv gear recommendation amazon page what a mouthful we're done if you found some value i'd appreciate it if you'd click if you'd hit that thumbs up and if you've not already i'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button it really helps with the youtube algorithm and for those of you who have been following along thank you that's why i get to do what i do and for our patrons thank you so much you guys rock all right y'all come back now you hear